First of all, I'm going to go through the process of balancing out the gimbal. You know what I'm saying? See, like I bought, this is a little side arm. I'm talking about this. Excellent for recording. I'm talking about excellent. So if anybody hesitant, if you hesitant about getting a gimbal, I'm going to tell you like this here. The Zion WeBuild S is fire. Now, I don't know what, I don't know all about these different cameras, but like I said, I'm shooting with a starter camera, which is the Canon T7. It doesn't have a flip out screen. And like I said, I bought the newer seven inch monitor. This is a barn door that go on it. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna balance this out, which I done got pretty smooth and quick with it. I'm gonna balance it out. And I'm gonna show you guys how I balance out my wheelbill gimbal. Just bear with me. I'm not time stamping this video. It's just gonna be a little bit lengthy because I'm getting a lot of questions on how you balance it out. Uh, is do this work, do that work? Hell, I'm finna just show you. I just told a couple of people I'm gonna put this video together for this weekend. I'm cool, I'm chilling. And as you can see, I got all my little gadgets right here. So let's roll with it. First of all, the Zion Webill S Gimbal has three locks on each motor. So hopefully you can see this. There's a lock on top, which I'm locking that one now. There's a lock, I'm gonna lock all these motors. Then I'm gonna show them to you all the locks on the motors. And lock on the bottom. So, uh, let's see, I didn't lock that one. Let me get that one locked. All right, there's a lock here. There's a lock on the left side of the gimbal. And there's a lock on the bottom right side of the gimbal. So all the axes has locks. What I do is I start out first by unlock the, the tilt axis. Now, I want my camera to stay straight up like that for vortex mode. So how I do that is there's a there's a little dial you can turn on the side here, which mine is already is already uh calibrated. See how you pull it down, it's gonna swing. So you can move this up or down. And I move it up. I intermit it up. See that? I pulled it back too far. That's about how I want mine to tilt. Well, I want it to tilt straight up. Very easy work. So I got it tilting straight up. I'm going to take and lock that, that in place. Now, my next is, let me lock that. My next is my tilting as far as the camera. See that? Now I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna show you the lock that I'm using. It is on the side. Let me spin the, see that's tilting too far up, so I'm gonna bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Sound like about right. I'm gonna lock that. I'm gonna turn it around so you can see. Right here on the quick release plate, which I'm gonna show you that too, the quick release plate, I got mine set to three. And you also, it also has a, a lens mount. So I just got this uh, 1855 lens, the kit lens. I also purchased me a 75 to 300 millimeter, uh, millimeter lens because I, I drive trucks and I be out on the mountains a lot. I be seeing a lot of hawks and hawks are some beautiful, beautiful. Subscribe to this page too, man, because I'm gonna be posting some beautiful pictures because it's like, I'm, I'm from Atlanta and I travel all over. I go from the West Coast, East, it ain't nowhere that I won't drive. And all these places, it's just some beautiful, beautiful sights. And it's like, if you ain't getting up out your city, you know what I mean? You will never know what's going on in the world until you leave your city, leave where you're from. And I got this gimbal and I'm gonna be taking pictures all over the place from California, all the way up to Maine, all the way back down to the bottom of Florida, to the Midwest, wherever I'm gonna take. So subscribe and I'm gonna show y'all some beautiful pictures and beautiful video of these mountains. And I just ordered me a, um, I got me a drone, but I had, I got the, the, the Parrot, I got the Parrot drone. I just ordered me the DJI FPI, FP, what is it, FPI drone? I just ordered, whatever it is, let me see, I'm gonna tell you guys. And I'm gonna get back to the camera. I'm gonna try and make this quick, but I just ordered this from Amazon, uh, DJI, DJI FP, P drone. FPV drone, FPV, that's the name of it. 
with the goggles on it so I normally have some amazing fun once I get that guy right there. All right, let's go with it. Okay, once I, I got the camera where to sit up, see that? I got it where to, where to tilt, see that? So that's, that's come from the first lock on the side to the tip. See, once you get through, once you get through balancing your gimbal, it ought to be the tilt however you want it to tilt. So now, my next thing is, which mine is already set, I'm gonna do the the bar, the swing bar. I guess I'm getting that the right name. See that? Mine is already balanced, but I'm gonna show you how I got it balanced that way. So anyway, I turn mine is like that. So this one right here, this second lock that's in the back, or it can be your first lock. See how that slides? It slides over. So you know whatever side is going too much of, it's not balanced. So what I do is I take and increment it over. And each one of these, each one of these axes got increments on it where you can you can write it down or hell take a picture. With me, I done got pretty much good with it. So as you can see, now I'll lock this. So now I got it where to tilt straight up, straight down, sideways, left, right, back, front. You see what I'm saying? And the next axle is the last one. I'm gonna lock that guy. So you want your gimbal, and this is where this is where this sidearm grip comes in at, and this one I'm at. If you don't have that, <clears throat> I'm gonna put some links in the description below, and I'm gonna give you the names of all of them. And they're not that expensive, you know what I'm saying? Just take your time. I just, like I said, when I get the, like, got the gimbal, I, I added, I put accessories, and these are the ones that popped up. This one by Zion, I think this is an off brand, but they weren't that expensive. So you wanna see how my gimbal just spent. See, that means I wanna make it where this bar stays sideways. See, it's tilted up. So what I'm gonna do is, Right here on the back side, on the side on the left side, there's another latch. I'm gonna take that latch and I'm gonna hold it sideways and I'm gonna increment that up until you can't see it, but I'm, I'm pushing up a little bit on this axis until I get it sideways by like that. How about I know the numbers on mine? So, but that's how you balance it. And then you lock that axis back. And y'all got to follow with me because my excitement gets me every time I mess with this camera. It's just fun, man, to take you out, take you into another whole zone when you got to a decent hobby and nobody to bother, you know what I'm saying? Just filming is mind relaxing, sort of like fishing to me or uh, playing games. Like, man, I like playing Ghost Recon or something like that. So now I'm going to set the gimbal by powering it on. And when you power it on, you'll see it set. Boom, voila. All right. Now, what I do is, if you look on your gimbal, on the gimbal arm, you press down. You got two buttons. You going down. You gonna go down to the to the rotator button and press down. Once you press down, you got the choices of motor, camera, and advance. Tap the motor. It says auto. Tap again to your right. Not tap the motor, but tap the motor icon. You all these are push buttons at the bottom. Push again to the right, and as you can see. It's automatically, it's automatically auto-tuning it up. And if you want to make any one of the arms a little bit stronger, it also has tilt pan. And let me make sure I'm telling you guys this right. You can go into motor settings. You go into level and you have, I like to keep mine on low. Once you get the gimbal, you're going to learn all this. 